Hello, welcome. My first video in English for five weeks or six weeks, maybe. I don't know. This is my empties and my new uh, stuff. <laughs> Hope you had a nice summer. The summer isn't done yet. I want to say that because that's depressing, I think. So it's still summer, but my vacation is over for now. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, abroad for a week uh, later this fall. It's it's uh, in about three weeks from when I'm filming. We're going to Albania, which is very exciting. And um, uh, I have a very dark lipstick on, which um, I'm I don't like. <laughs> It's dark and it's matte, so I don't like it. But I want to have a use on my lip liner, and therefore it's on my lips now. So, I I have a few empties. It's not a lot. Um, and I mostly, when I film my empties, I don't pick the empties that I haven't shown in my project pans. Uh, the empties from there. So I most likely will show them in my projects and then I put it in the empties even if I even if I finished it earlier uh, because I can't keep track of everything but now because I haven't filmed in two months uh, this is for July and August so I picked out the empties from my project pan empties so it's gonna be some spoilers here but it's just for my sanity <laughs> So I can throw them away when I have updated uh, the project. And I am also wanted to say that I haven't filmed any updates in any projects. So every product project that I do have a gap of, for one month. So that's that. That's not the case. That's not. That hasn't. It isn't the time and the place to talk about that now. So we will go in to my empties. Which will I start with? I will start with the no. I'm going to start with the empties that are <laughs> are in projects that I haven't shown you yet. Um, I have two. I'm not going to say which project it is. <laughs> I have two bubble tea. Uh, mango iced tea shower gels. These are very watery, so it's very easy to go through them. And um, yeah, they're done. Uh, I'm not gonna buy them again. They are too. Mm, they are not quality uh, shower gels, I think. Then I have a micellar rose water from Garnier. I like this. I like the scent of this, and it's it's a nice one. I like it. Uh, and I like rose scents, so that's good. Then I have this tutti frutti, tutti frutti. <laughs> I want to say it in Italian, tutti frutti, or something. Uh, sugar scrub in kiwi exfoliant corp. Uh -huh, that was in uh, French, I think, or something. Uh, it's a body scrub in kiwi, and it had a very nice uh, color. Uh, you can hardly see it but and it was a good one but the kiwi kiwi scent was not right wasn't there uh, I had wished that it um, was more scented than it was but it was it was nice I have another one in another scent and I want to try that and see what I think about that then I have this Agiva Agiva uh, instant purifying cleansing gel refreshing gel that I use for my hands if I wanted to freshen up I don't think it is alcohol in it so it was just an extra thing uh, I have a foot balm uh, from Lövengrip which is a Swedish brand uh, that I'm done with nothing special will buy it if I see it on a good price otherwise I'm not sure I don't know nothing special it it was okay. Then I have this Lumine Nordic Hydra uh, 72 hours Hydra gel mask, a small thing, and I have used it up. I used up a big one earlier this year and now I used up this one. It's fine. I like gel masks. 
<laughs> they are not so messy, I think. Then I have two of these gum soft picks that I use to clean between my teeth. They're not that good because they are a little flimsy, so I wanted, want to use another brand, but I want to use up the, those first. Then I used one of these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. <laughs> I have three of these. It's two steps and I'm not sure what I think about these. Uh, I have to use it again to have an opinion, but I use it up. I have a little hand cream from Merci Handy, hand cream in cherry. I really didn't like this. This smelled like old lady perfume in a bad way. There's good ways and there's bad ways, so I'm so glad I have this done. I have one more, because I love cherries, but this doesn't smell like cherry, cherries at all. Then I have a hemp foot pack. It's a treatment, not the treatment that you when you like you peel off from. Uh, just a moisturizing. I like these. It's it's nice to uh, put them on in the evening and sit and watch TV or something and have that on. And this is I used this last night. Blueberry Vitality and Moisture Mask Sheet from its skin. Uh, in blueberry, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice, but the the masks doesn't fit my face, so it's a bit annoying to use. Uh, SVR B3 ampoule Hydra, uh, some kind of booster serum. Uh, it took forever to use up, but it's gone now. I'm sure it was nice. I have no idea. I don't notice anything. But I use serum because I've heard that it's good. <laughs> then I have a conditioner from Paradox uh, Repair 3-in-1 Conditioner Hair Mask Finishing Cream. I used it as a conditioner and um, it was nice. I got it recently in a goodie box. And I have this Malin and Guts um, botanical deodorant that I used actually between my legs to <laughs> not have the scrubby effect from my thighs. Uh, and I used it under my there. And um, it's finally done. I couldn't use it under my arms because it didn't do anything. So I'm glad to have that done. It smelled nice. It smelled citrus something. And the last empty from different projects is this Physician's Formula Butter Muru Muru SPF 15 lip product something. This one. Um, this was a bit too pink for me. Um, I can do a little swatch here I think. There. Uh, but it was nice. Uh, but it was too melty. Uh, for something with the SPF, it shouldn't be melty, I think. So I'm not going to buy it again. And I'm sure there's a lot of product in here. Uh, we will see if I dig that out or not. Um, but not for the sake of the empties and the projects and so on. So that was that. Then I have a few more uh, empties that isn't, isn't in the project. I have two more of these gum soft picks. Already talked about them, and three actually, <laughs> one more. And I have one more of these bubble tea mango icy. I already talked about that. And then I have five more things. First, I have uh, this um, Emitea Melesis Active Eye Light Concealer, or is, does it say corrector? Corrector. I've used this over a year, and it was a big one. This is in a project and I don't remember if I showed you that for the last time. Yes, I did because I, I put the last bit in a, t in a little jar and yeah, this is finally done. It was a good one, but I don't like when it, <laughs> it takes so long to use them up. Then I have a nail polish remover from Depend. I like these um, because they don't smell 
like acetone or something. They have a nice kind of scent. Um, the only thing is that I have used sugar nail polish, um, sugar finish nail polishes this summer and <laughs> oh, it's so hard to get the nail polish off and that's not that's that product's fault. It's just hard. I have this Naked Lips Organic Lip Scrub, which I hated. It was in the scent Vanilla. And, ooh, I hate the scent and I hate this product. I will never use it again. I used up two jars of this in different scents and it was awful. Then I'm decluttering this one, the Elf Smudge Pot in Ain't That Sweet. This one. Um, I had these for a long time. I think I had six. Four is gone since uh, a year, maybe, or something. Or maybe not a year. I don't know. And this has started to smell like crayon or something, so I don't need it anymore. And I, it's not that good either. I have one more left, and I'm going to throw that away too. And then we have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Uh, just a sample. Um, this is... Fine, nice, okay. Um, I think I need to use it more consistently to really have an opinion of that product. I've used a little one before, but I don't seem to have <laughs> a, a finished opinion about the product, which is sad, and I don't think I'm going to buy it either. If I got a new sample, I really want to use it several days in a row, I think, to just build my opinion. But that's the empties and um, I thought of something to say but I can't remember what it was. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't know. I did um, did an order on the Look Fantastic um, on Look Fantastic <laughs> online and uh, there was um, an offer uh, if you bought products for 1600 Swedish crowns you got a goodie box, goodie bag, goodie bag and uh, of course I did that <laughs> why not because the goodie bag was pretty large so um, I'm gonna show you the things I bought and then we're going to the goodie bag first I bought something to my youngest son he had um, learned that this was a good product. It's La, it's, it's from La, La Roche-Posay. I have a hard time to speak. Effa Clare du, Duo Unifian. I don't know what that language is. Anti-imperfections correct. <laughs> yeah, it's in different langu languages. But <laughs> uh, why I show it to you is because this was tinted. <laughs> Uh, he, he had uh, <laughs> he put it on to try it and <laughs> he couldn't have it on. It's like that tint. He is a lot more tan in his face, so he looked <laughs> really strange with this in his face. It was supposed to be a good product for like pimples and dark um, blackheads and so on. Uh, but he didn't want this, <laughs> he wanted the uh, see-through one. So it's now mine, I have no idea uh, what I'm going to use it for, but we'll see if I can get some use of it. In Sweden we can't return products that we had used. So that's that, it wasn't that bad um, uh, pricey, so it's, it's fine. Then I bought this Garnier my cellar cleansing water, my old one, uh, was finished as you saw recently and I bought this one and this was a big one, I didn't realize that. This is not the rose one, but it's fine. Um, so now I have <laughs> a big one. And then I bought two body scrubs, uh, I only have one body scrub left, no two actually. Two actually three but they are very small so I bought these from Sanctuary Spa body scrub and I bought two of the same scent so I hope 
they are fine. Uh, it doesn't say what scent it is. I think it smells nice. It's hard to... <laughs> no, but they weren't expensive at all. Then I bought this. Brazilian Crush Cherry Osa 62 Pistachio Salted Caramel from Brazilian. No. What is, what, <laughs> what is the brand? Um, uh, what? I am so... Brazilian Boom Boom Cream is not the brand, it's the thing. Why doesn't it say? <laughs> oh, I hate this. Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Or how you pronounce it. Um, uh, yeah. Because I wanted to try this. I have um, the Boom Boom Cream in a smaller version and I like the scent and so I just did it. It uh, it was I think 400 Swedish crowns which is kind of a lot but you get pretty much anyway. Then I bought a lipstick. <clears throat> I don't need a lipstick but I really wanted to try these. It's from Bobbi Brown. It's the crushed lip color in Bare. I haven't even swatched it yet, so I'm gonna do that now. It looks like this. It's a nice compact, it's very heavy and it's not magnetic. <laughs> and the shade looks like this, very similar to this color there, so we will see. Okay. It's kind of sheer, which I like, and it seems like a good shade. So we will see. That's that. Then I bought two things from Estee Lauder, because if you bought over some amount of money, I don't remember what. You got a little Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharge Complex. This little thing. And I needed two things. No, I didn't need two things, but I wanted to. Because I have my favorite... Um, uh, <laughs> why am I so... Um, foundation is the word I'm looking for. Um, my favorite foundation has been one uh, from Estee Lauder for a long time. The Double Wear Light, this one. And I can't find anything about that. I don't think they do these anymore, which is very sad. So when I realized that, it was maybe a year ago or something, I wanted to see which foundation they had uh, similar, most similar to this one. So I bought this Estee Lauder, oh this is very runny, uh, double wear, the same thing, sheer long wear makeup uh, with SPF. So I thought maybe this is the replacement for this, it's not, uh, this is lighter so it's not the same shade. Or is it? I don't know. But no, it's not. One and one, and the other one is two and one. And this is darker. But this is not the same thing. So that was that. So I'm I've, I'm finally going to try this one. The Double Wear Same Place Makeup. Not the sheer one, not the light one. The regular one to see if I like that. And they're not um, cheap. <laughs> but I, I, I have to try it. So I bought this one, this SPF 10 in 2N1. So that's more of a fall, spring, late fall, uh, a part of my winter and spring, not the summer shade. Uh, and that's the most of the time. So 
I bought that and I bought a pump too because I'm not going to use a bottle you have to shake out the product. That's not that's not good, I think. Uh, so I bought a little pump which I haven't it's in the same packaging and there it is. So we're going to try that and see what I think about that. And then I got this little cream because of that. And we will see how many milliliters this is. It's three milliliters, so it's a pretty big sample or deluxe size. This one, I think I may have tried it before, I don't remember. And there goes my nail polish. <laughs> uh, I painted them two days ago and yeah, on my right hand it looks awful. I'm sorry, but that's how my nail polish sits on me. So, now on to the goodie box. Yeah, why do I say that? Goodie bag. Goodie box is not something else. So I got a lot. This one, uh, the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Scrunching, scrunching Jelly. Um, it's, a, it's a big tube. Um, tames, frizz, adds shine and defines. I don't have cards, so we'll see if I give this away or something. Then I got uh, Urban Apothecary Oud Geranium. I don't know how to. Oud. Oud. Uh, it's a shower gel hand and body wash. It's not a big one. But it will come in use. Oh, this I bought myself because they were in a duo kit. These um, micellar reusable echo pads. I'm trying to use these more, but I'm not that successful with that. Then some smaller things. Philip Kingsley Bond Builder uh, Restructing Treatment. It's for the hair. It's a big, it's 40 milliliters, so it's not that small. And I have thin hair, so it will last me a while, I think. Uh, from Elizabeth Arden, uh, the Privage Anti-Age, what is it? Daily Serum, this one. And it's a little tube, uh, five milliliters. I have tried that before, I think. Uh, from Giorgio Armani, Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation for samples here. I have had this before and I liked it. So it's nice to try it again and see if I want to buy it again maybe. Uh, Bio Blender from Eco Tools, Eco Tools, I think you pronounce it. Bio Degrainable Makeup Sponge. I need more sponges. Uh, so we will try this. My favorite is, is, is the Beauty Blender. The Real Technique ones are good, but they fall apart much faster than the Beauty Blenders. And the Beauty Blenders are so expensive, which is very annoying. Uh, so hopefully this is a good one. Then there was a little palette from Wet n Wild. Something leaked in this uh, goodie bag. It was a, it's a, like a fabric. Uh, I think it was, it was hard to see, but I think it was this one. Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Booster Restoring Conditioner. This one. I think this was one who, which was leaking. So everything is a bit sticky. <laughs> but it, nothing got ruined or so. This is the Color Icon palette from Wet n Wild. And I, I'm sure I'm going to give it away to someone. Um, Nude Awakening. Um, so we have a matte cream shade which is good. There is a black uh, which I don't need that much. And there are a few shimmers. Three four, five maybe, in different shade tone, in different tones. There's a crease shade and two darker mattes. Uh, maybe there's, yeah, maybe it's a good palette. I don't know, but I have a lot of that stuff, so I don't need that. Uh, 
what else? Pantanol Rebarrier Cream from Purito, Purito. I don't know. It's a cream. <laughs> and uh, what else? Avant Cocoa Hydrolyzed Walnut Copper Glycerin Tocopher. <laughs> Why these long names? Uh, cleansing gel. A very small one. And Morning Expert Hyaluronic Serum from This Works. Is this for the hair? Maybe then? Acid and slow release vitamin C help plump and brighten morning skin. Oh. No, I'm mixing it up. It's not for the hair, of course. Uh, then we have this one. I have this before, uh, but I haven't tried it. LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This is quite big, 20 milliliters. There was from Emma Hardy, Moringa Renewal Treatment Mask. Um, this one. We have from Bondi Sands Glow Bronze Lights Highlighting Cream for a Radiant Glow. A full size, I think. Shall we swatch it? It's not, it's sealed actually. Ah, no, we don't. Uh, we have a little um, SPF 30 lip protection and care from Ultrasun. A little lip balm. We have from Comfort Zone Renite Cream Nourishing Vitamin Cream Night. Pretty big size too. Mm, 30 milliliters. We have uh, Christoph Robin mask purifi purifiant. <laughs> Purifying a mask. Okay, it was in French. Uh, <laughs> with the thermal mud. It's for the hair. And we have a uh, Brazilian. Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This is a smaller one um, than I have right now. And it's sealed, but it's nice to have on a trip or something. And the last thing is from Spotlight Highlighter Pencil Crayon Sur... Uh, that was in French too. Um, I don't know. It's... Um, I don't really need this and it looked a little patchy. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's a base for eyeshadows but highlighter pencil, I don't know. It's not that shiny, it's kind of matte. Uh, we will see what I'm gonna use this for. Okay, it's you could blend it out and then it was better. So that's that, pretty much just for free. <laughs> So, um, that was it. I have placed an order, but I'm going to wait for next month to show you that because it's only my son's cream and two other things, so it's not that interesting. I wanted to film this because I don't want it stacked in here. So, have you tried anything of this and want to say something about the products? Please do. It's always, it's always interesting to hear what other people say about products. So have a nice day. Bye bye.